Just to start off, I recently acquired an eBay listing of a bunch of Pixar related memorabilia from their commercials to even frame storyboards from Tin Toy and Knick Knack. Among the VHS pay tapes, laser discs, and even 35 mm rolls of film, I came across a script as well as a tape to go along with it. It was an early version of the movie Toy Story, Pixar's first feature sure length film. I got up and then went to my attic to find my old VCR player while it was up there. I fetched my old Buzz Lightyear and Rex from my childhood and sat them down on my sofa as I plopped the tape in. The movie began with the old Disney Pixar logo, no Walt Disney logo with the castle. It just started off with Andy playing with Woody. Woody was bigger and a bit fatter than his final original design as he was about the same size as Chucky in the Child's Play movies. Andy pulls out a toy gun from Woody's holster and he made the cowboy shoot up a pellet at Mr. Potato Head. Andy then pulls Woody's string and said, You have saved the day again, cowpoke. Woody's phrase wasn't like the normal one. It was, Giddy up, deputy, yee-haw, instead of, You're my favorite deputy. Andy walks around with Woody before violently throws at the doll on top of his bed. Woody sprang to life and hosted a staff meeting. Characters like Bullseye and Zerk were already present. I checked the script. There was no Jessie. Instead, she was replaced by a character called Senorita Cactus. There was also a mention of a character called Dino Rider, which I assume was an early version of Rex. Woody continued his speech as it cut to a scene of Andy unwrapping Buzz, who in the script was called Tempest from Morph. Andy was alone in his party with the exception of Sid. I picked up the script and Sid's description mentioned him as being Andy's 15 year old babysitter. Andy's mother, whose name was Hannah in the script, helped Andy unbox Buzz as Andy eagerly began flying Buzz around the room. The screen then cut to when Woody pushes Buzz out of the window. I checked the script and the scene was missing with the scene itself, was Buzz showing off to the other toys and Woody being an asshole to Slinky. Woody was offered a handshake by Buzz, and the cowboy instead threw him out of the window, and the rest of Andy's toys proceeded to throw Woody out with him. The scene then changed to Andy playing with Woody and Buzz in his room, when all of a sudden he stops and he lifts the toys up and runs into the baby sister near the stairs. Andy grabs Molly and threw her down the stairs and the camera violently jolted as a scene of Al's toy barn in the store Instead of the shopping center, filled with Pizza Planet, various food courts, and lastly a toy store, it zoomed in on towards the toy store. On the shelves were a Furby, a Transformer, and lastly a Tickle Me Elmo. The camera changed to Andy, throwing Woody and Buzz on the grass of his yard. Andy appeared more older looking than his design at Toy Story 3. He stomped Buzz and cracking his chest before grabbing Woody and scribbling black marker on his right eye. He pulled down a hammer and shattered Buzz's helmet, then before throwing the toys into the road. Andy walked back inside his home as Woody and Buzz jolted back alive. Woody was about to run to his house, before Buzz, then pointed towards the car coming. It then cut to a shot of Sid, using the shards of Buzz's helmet to cut into Woody's stomach, as exposing the stuffing and voice box. I checked the script. I only had half a meaning of it when it stopped. As soon as Andy got Buzz, I looked into the box of the other pages, but there weren't any more. I looked back at the TV, only to be greeted by Woody and Buzz in the claw machine. Buzz looked like his final design as the claw came down and gripped onto Woody's head and the claw tugged so much that it ripped Woody's head off. Stuffing poured out of his body as Buzz looked in horror. Suddenly my VCR started to smoke. I quickly ejected the tape and it was now melting into a black goo in my hands. I threw the tape out and then I'm done still, still curious about the rest of the tape. And that, my pretties, was Toy Story Early Real. A um, Toy Story Lost episode or Toy Story Lost movie creepypasta written by Fire Flower Films. My final thoughts on the story? Okay, I'm going to be completely honest. This story was not good. Why wasn't it not good? Well, there is a couple things wrong with this story that I can definitely point out that was not good. 
for one, it's cliched, like VHS cliched and stuff like that, eBay being mentioned. Yeah, that was just cliched, and it obviously just, it's been done so many creepypastas that I just didn't find that very interesting. The story itself, it should, could have been a decent concept, but it just went downhill. And I'm being brutally honest with you guys. This story just, I don't even know what it was. But something about it just made me not really like the story. I didn't really like the story as I thought I was going to like it. But after reading it over and over again, I honestly just don't know what to say. The story just wasn't that good. It was just, it just, it just went downhill for me. And I didn't really like this story. This story could have been a really decent concept. But unfortunately, that's not the case with this story. That's just literally, that just literally just threw me off. It didn't really sit well with me. And this story could have had a really good concept, but it just went downhill for me. And that just didn't really sit well. I mean, I mean, there was so much potential with this story being original script, but that's not the case with this story. This story just went downhill. And I'm being honest with the offer here. I'm not trying to put the offer down or insult them. I'm just stating my opinion on how it is. What could have been done to make the story better is like have an original plot line. But like I said though, if you're going to use a cliche, you need to make sure it works and flows out well. And make sure you know what you're doing. This story just didn't really work out that way. And I'm sorry to say it. But it's true. The story just didn't sit well. It could have been a decent concept, but unfortunately, that's not the case. And that's me being brutally honest with this story. This story could have had a decent concept, but unfortunately, that that's not what the case is. <sighs> okay. Um, the grammar was alright, but there could have been improvement on the grammar. I mean, sentence structure could have been, you know, fixed up and stuff. I did spot some run-on sentences in the story, so the story was a little bit hard for me to read. And yeah, um, the story just wasn't that good. It could have had a good concept, but it just didn't work. That's the unfortunate part with this. Okay. Um, I really have to say right now, um, the concept could have had a really good storyline, but... That's not the case with this story, and that's what's disappointing, because, you know, I was expecting something really interesting with this story, but unfortunately, that's not the case. So, Fire Flower Films, I definitely will suggest you improve on your writing. I mean, I know this isn't the best story you have did or whatever, but hey, I mean, I'm learning too. I mean, there are some stories I've wrote that are not that good, but I've improved from you know, my writing, and I'm doing hell of a lot better. Some people don't see it. Well, that's too bad. But in my opinion, I I know there's definitely potential with this story. I know this story could have had a really good concept. But try to take what I say with a grain of salt and put that into use into improving your story. I mean, yeah, it may not be the best story in the world. I mean, I've seen plenty of other garbage stories, but I'm just stating my own opinion on this. So, anyway, uh, with that being said, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can go follow the check out this story if you haven't. And overall, like I'm always going to say, like I always continue to say, this is just simply my own personal opinion, and if you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these stories, this is just simply my own personal thoughts. I'm going to give this story a um, a 4 out of 10. It had a really decent concept and it seemed really interesting too, but it just didn't really work out. There was cliches, it just didn't sit well with me, the grammar could be improved, and same with the sense structuring, etc. I mean, this story could have had a good concept, but unfortunately that's not the case. And that's really disappointing what I have to say about this story. So I'm hoping offer you take this as a grain of salt and hope you do better with your stories in the future. I generally really hope for that. So 
I guess with that being the case and with that being said, like I'm always going to say, this is just simply my own personal opinion. Anyways, what did you guys personally think of this creepy pasta? Did you all enjoy it? Did you all not? Also, what would you have done personally to help make this story a lot better? Feel free to let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload. So that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, if you happen to be new on my channel, be sure to comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I know I already said it before, but, you know, in case for anybody who's new. Also, if you're interested in checking out my Twitter, link to my Twitter account will be in the About page section. Also, don't forget to check out my um, DeviantArt account in case if you're interested in following me on DeviantArt. Link to my DeviantArt will be in the About page section. And as always, if you guys want to follow my backup channel known as Miss Dark Shigo, link to that will also be in the About page section so you guys can go check that out. And if there's something I'm missing that I did not talk about, please let me know what it is in the comments below. And as always, that's pretty much all I have to say. And as always, roll the outro because I'm out of here. And I'll be catching you all in the next video. Peace out and roll the outro. What's up my pretties? It's the Lion Queen here. I want to appreciate you all for tuning into this video. And I do appreciate you guys supporting my video by giving this video likes and stuff. If you really enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new, Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will get updated for whenever I upload. If you want to follow me on Twitter or DeviantArt, feel free to leave, to leave a follow on those if you are interested in following me on those socials. If you want to support my backup channel, known as Ms. Dark Shigo, feel free to subscribe to it, as a link to that will also be in the About page section. And with that being said, and that being the case... Thank you so much for watching, my pretties, and as always, please, stay pretty.